Hi everyone, my name is Shane Flanders. I'm proud to serve on the Dream Team at Propel Church, and I'm so honored that you're joining us for 21 Days of Prayer. As you can tell a little bit, I'm losing a lot of hair on my head. At least that's what the uh, barber always says, that, you know, when they're looking up there, making me feel a little self-conscious. <laughs> but the fantastic thing is, is that we have a, a father, a God, our creator, who knows every single hair that I've lost, every hair that I have right now, and all the hair that I'm going to be losing in the future, which I guess is a good thing, right? <laughs> but what's important is that he knows every single inch of me, everything about me. So we're going to be diving into Psalms 139, okay? If you go on this journey with me, I think we're going to find some really amazing points out of this that we'll be able to pray for later. Verse 1, O Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. Verse 13, you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. It's just amazing to know the passion that, that the Lord has for us. I mean, he knows me better than I know a Keebler cookie, which is just absolutely crazy considering my size. I'll be honest with you, a little critical on myself, but I know a Keebler cookie pretty, pretty well, pretty well. And so that's just awesome that he knows me that way, that mo that intimate. I mean, he knows little details about me that I don't even know about myself. Because he's the creator, designed me uniquely. <clears throat> so you can see, clearly see God's passion for us. And so I want to go into a little bit of a, I want to say, journey that I was on last October. Um, while reading through scripture, I kept feeling like the Lord was telling me um, to focus on the Passover meal and the Passover story, which is just a story of, of the um, Israelites being enslaved in Egypt, which were all, you know, slaves of, of something that we're trying to be free from. And so in October, I, I got this and I said, you know, I said, I'm going to perform this most amazing Passover meal. I've never done it before. Um, but I kept doing the research and going through scripture and everything. I was really on fire for it. Um, doing all that, but October to April, when the Passover takes place, is quite a distance, uh, quite a time 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 difference. And so then came, you know, Thanksgiving with thing, you know, in November, and then December you got Christmas, and then New Year's in January, and then before you know it, I really lost my way, lost my drive, lost my fire, um, and then I really just stopped thinking about it. But then I ended up taking a small group, freedom group that we have, and challenged me to, you know, remove some things from a life that was quenching the spirit, quenching the Holy Spirit in me. Um, and so the Lord revealed those things to me. Re you know, I ended up repenting from them. Um, and boom, that fire came back. And in April, I ended up pulling off the most amazing Passover meal that just was so awesome. I think all my family, I was able to be that spiritual leader that the Father wanted for me to be for my family. Um, and I think everybody grew just by just by that and that fire that I was able to get from the Holy Spirit. So I want to go into verse 23 and 24 and that the psalmist writes right here. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead, lead me along the path of everlasting life. So today, while praying, I'd love for you to pray for purity. I'd also love for you to pray and ask Him to lead you in the way of everlasting. Pray to restore your passion. And ask God, what is offensive to Him? What offends Him? So that way it may be removed from you. Repent. Repent. And you, will still, you too will find that, that the Holy Spirit will light a fire in you that just cannot be extinguished. You don't want to quench the Holy Spirit. So thank you so much for praying with us today.